Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. Love you all. Nice to see you all. Just a quick little word. I just want to encourage my fellow Christians out there and the open-minded atheist. And, and that is this. Never ever, never ever be intimidated by these atheists on YouTube. Whoever they are, I don't care who they are, whether they set themselves up as clever intellectuals, uh, as clever academics, whether they set themselves up as national intellectuals like Sam Harris, I don't care who they are, never ever be intimidated. Because whenever you check out whatever they say, whenever you look into their information, it is always found wanting. It's always found wanting, okay? Uh, the time and time again when I've come up against these clever intellectual atheists uh, and they've told me something and said something, I check it out and I go and check it out and all the time I've found them to be dishonest and they are twisting things and they are not being honest to the facts. I remember a while back, uh, a couple, uh, about a year and a half ago, a number of atheists coming on and throwing at me uh, that Christianity is just Mithraism and, and the rest of it. And they kept doing this for about a week, two weeks, uh, bombarding me with these kind of arguments. So I went and read the ancient Greek hymns, okay? And I went and studied the actual sources myself. And I found out that it was just a load of nonsense, okay? And then uh, I got to a time where they were all banging on about evolution last year. So I spent uh, a couple of nights reading uh, papers on mutation. And when I read these uh, scientific papers on mutation it was as clear as day to me that this idea that we've evolved is just a complete nonsense when you just studied this one area of mutations that was about a year ago uh, so whenever you check these atheists out whenever you check them and I, and I encourage you never ever to listen to these atheists because A they might seem they know what they're talking about but they're beautiful manipulators and the third, second thing is they're beautiful intimidators. They will always try to intimidate you, okay? They'll always try to push you and push you and push you. They'll never give you the space to think. They never do that. Notice that. They never sit back and let you think. They're always pushing you and trying to trample you down so that you're not allowed to do your own thinking. Or if you do your thinking, they say, no, you can't think like this or no, you can't think like that. You've got to think this way, the way they do. But who says you've got to think the way they do? You think the way you want to do. You do your own research. You do your own thinking. And you do your own questioning. And you never, ever allow anybody to intimidate you or to try and put you down or to try and make you think something that you don't want to think. You look at the evidence yourself. You do your own research. And you will find out that these atheists are just a bunch of liars and a bunch of complete uh, manipulators of what is fact and what is truth okay how do I substantiate that look at what they just type in uh, go uh, onto the um, onto the website the evangelical website Alpha Omega by James White go on that website type in uh, James White Alpha Omega and go and listen to James White on Mithraism go and look at his debates on Mithraism um, just, just go and find out James White, and then uh, on Alpha and Omega's uh, ministries, um, you can find it on the YouTube or find his website. Just go there, see what he has to say, and see his debates with atheists on Mithraism. Okay? Then go uh, uh, and and go and read people like N.T. Wright or Balcom. Okay? Um, and go and read people like that or um, Yamuchi. Okay? Uh, people like that. Go and read people like that on Mithraism. Uh, go and read the ancient hymns yourself. Um, the um, I think it's the Orphic hymns of uh, Dionysius. Okay, go and read those kind of hymns. Read them yourself. Find out for yourself if there are these dying and rising gods just like Jesus Christ, as many atheists have been pumping out for a number of years now. Okay, and some of the atheists out there say we don't do that. We're more, we're more cultured. Well, if you're more cultured, get these people who keep knocking this rubbish out and sort them out. Anyhow, go and have a look at James White and what he has to say about Mithraism. Then type in atheism or secularist, secularist humanist or whatever, and and go onto the atheist websites. 
all right and see what they say about the dynamizing God and see how endemic it is the rubbish that they're pumping out on all their websites all right and here's a classic example Mr. Aaron Rat himself the big man himself go on to uh, Reason Rally and see him de debating creationists and you'll find a little clip there of this year where he was talking and listen to what he has to say about Mithraism okay but when you do your own research and when you do your own thinking you'll realize that this is fringe scholarship and it's just a load of nonsense that's just one example but don't when you see these clever atheists making comments under my videos do not be intimidated by them don't just listen to what they say go and check it out for yourself go on to good reputable websites and seminaries where you can get good solid material okay you can go on my seminary Samuel's Weimer Theological Seminary thousands of stuff there you can go on my blog site Samuel's Weimer Theological Seminary blog uh, you can go uh, on some of the links that I've got under the video under the main feature page here uh, many reputable scholars and thinkers that you can link into and find links okay but make sure you check it out make sure you check it out alright because there's one or two people on this channel who keep coming in like little snakes putting doubts in everybody putting doubts in everybody but you, you, you just go and check things out and you'll find that they're just talking a load of nonsense okay alright God bless you love you all and uh, what can I say these atheists they haven't got a chance I'm a warrior for Jesus I'll keep fighting for the Lord I'm serving him and they never break me down they never pull me down I'm for Jesus and I'm going for the Lord and you go for the Lord you never ever ever be intimidated by these crazy hardcore atheists or any other atheist out there because they've got nothing to give you absolutely nothing and they might say they've got reason and rationality but they haven't what they've got is prejudice prejudice capital pre prejudice there's only a small handful of people atheist people out there on YouTube who are sincerely seeking to know about God and want to know the truth the rest of them are just into attacking Christianity for the sake of it alright turn your back on them leave them to it if that's what they want to do let them go and do it but we've got greater things to do folks we've got the truth we've got reality in the truth we've got hope to give people what has atheism got? Atheism got, hasn't got anything. After all, its definition is just an absence of belief in, 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 in God. But it's got nothing else to give, has it? It's got a sick history. A history that's been dis destroyed people like it did in Russia. So it's got a sick history. A worse history than religion. Uh, it's got uh, no morality. No objective morality. It's got oh, so many uh, intellectual contradictions that it makes your head spin it doesn't do anything for anybody it doesn't provide anything for anybody it's full of full and full of hypocrisy total hypocrisy but above all the one thing it has not got it has not got the Lord Jesus Christ who lived and died and rose again historical 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 fact that's what atheism hasn't got it hasn't got the Lord Jesus Christ who is the way the truth and the life and because atheism hasn't got that it's got nothing it's got absolutely nothing it's got dry bones intellectualism that will do nobody any good it's got hatred and anger against the Lord it's got hypocrisy within its ranks it's got no meaning to life it's got no hope and it's not definitely got no truth because it's telling lies about evolution it's telling lies to people about uh, against the Bible so it's not got the truth and it's definitely not based in reality because it smacks against reality because reality is not just pure materialism if that is just reality then God help us but it's definitely definitely hasn't got reality it doesn't even know the basics of what reality is if it did it would begin to seek the master himself Jesus Christ the true reality the reality of all realities who holds the material together who allows us to do logic and science and provides us the way to do logic and science and who leads us to himself the Son of God who is the Son of all things 
the provider of all things, the hope of all things, the joy of all things. And who wants to spend your life arguing about minutiae, little intellectual details, when you can meet God himself and have a relationship with him and then go out and love people, love the blind, love the broken, love the needy, love those who, who, need, pay, who need comfort and be with them and help them. That's what life's all about, to love people and care for people, to help people, not to spend hours and end attacking uh, Christianity like these atheists do. And you atheists will say, well, Jay, you've made, four, you've made a thousand videos in four weeks or five weeks. I did, and I did because I was sick and tired of you hardcore atheists attacking us Christians. And I wanted to stand up for my Lord, and I've done it. But you know what? I want to go out and I want to love the blind. I want to love the broken. I want to love the needy. I want to care for those who need Jesus. I want to be there for them. I want to cry with them. I want to help them. And I don't want to spend my time wasting, arguing about silly little minutiae things to people who are narrow-minded, dogmatic, and who are not seeking the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So there, atheists. So there. And I hope that there is one or two atheists out there who is sincerely seeking Jesus and I hope you find him and I hope you join him with me and I ask all the atheists out there all the atheists all the big cheeses and the little cheeses all the, all the ones in between join me join me and follow Jesus and trust in him and follow him but there's one thing atheists there's one thing me on YouTube will never ever bow the knee to atheism or to any ideals of atheism. But I'll bow the knee to Jesus. Let's have a look. Oh, let's have a look. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Dawkins. Or the Bible. What should I do? Should I go for this? Should I go for this? Or should I go for this? What do you reckon, atheist? Should I go for this? Should I go for atheism? And what this man stands for and you atheists stand for? Or should I go for this and stand with Jesus? Stand with the King of Kings who died for me and gave his life for me and rose from the dead? Or should I go for this guy who says that teaching kids six day creation is child abuse. Which one should I go for, folks? Which one should I go for? Will I go for this? Or will I go for this? I go for this. I go for this. Because this is life. This is peace. This is joy. This is truth. This is reality. And this is... It's just nut job, crazy, hardcore, undemocratic, unloving, sick, mad, pathetic, disgraceful and disgusting, puerile, hopeless, mindless garbage. That's what that is. This is the pure word of God. Changing millions of people from drug addiction to new life, changing prostitutes to new life, building families that are broken, changing communities. This is the word of God. Voltaire, the French philosopher, said, he said that in a hundred years the Bible will be gone from France. And with only and when he died, within only a few years, his house was turned into a printing press for a Bible society and was printing Bibles. This book is indestructible. Evolution will go, but this book will be here. This book is truly the Word of God. God bless you. Stand with me, folks. Stand with me. Stand with Christ. And do not buckle to this modern culture that's secular and gone away from God. And do not follow these mad atheists who do not want God, but hate Him, and hate us who want to stand up for Him. God bless you, and take care.